Welcome to Mind Stretch. Today, we're exploring one of the most mind bending paradoxes in mathematics the Banach Tarski paradox. Imagine splitting a sphere into a few parts and ending up with two identical spheres, each the same size as the original. Sound impossible? Well, mathematically it's not. In today's video, we'll take you through the paradox and explain how it defies intuition using the principles of set theory and the infinite. Let's dive in. The banach tarski paradox is a result from set theory and geometry that shows, under certain conditions, a solid sphere can be divided into a finite number of pieces and then rearranged into two identical spheres, each the same size as the original. However, the pieces involved are highly unusual. They aren't conventional chunks or slices of a sphere, but rather non-measurable sets. These pieces cannot be assigned a specific volume or shape. It defies logic and everything we know about physical objects. To understand how it works, we need to first explore the mathematical world where this paradox exists. So how is it even possible? The banach tarski paradox uses principles from set theory, which is a branch of mathematics that deals with the study of collections of objects called sets. In the world of sets, objects can behave very differently from what we're used to in the real world. The sets used in the paradox are called non-measurable sets, meaning they can't have a well-defined volume. Because these sets don't have a defined volume, they can be rearranged in ways that would be impossible in physical reality, but entirely feasible within abstract mathematics. And that's the magic of this paradox. What's mathematically possible doesn't always align with what's physically possible. The banach tarski paradox relies heavily on two major mathematical concepts, infinity and the axiom of choice. Infinity allows us to manipulate objects in ways that defy physical laws. Meanwhile, the axiom of choice is a principle in set theory that lets us select elements from an infinite set of objects, even when we have no clear rule to do so. Without the axiom of choice, this paradox couldn't exist. It's what allows mathematicians to select certain points from infinite sets to perform the splitting and reassembling of the sphere. While this principle is accepted in much of mathematics, it's highly controversial because of the strange results it leads to, like this paradox. Let's talk about the pieces that the sphere is split into. These aren't regular, measurable chunks that you could hold in your hand. They're called non-measurable sets, and they can't be assigned a traditional volume. If you think of a regular object, you can calculate its volume using mathematical formulas, but that doesn't work here. Non-measurable sets are the key to this paradox. They consist of infinite points scattered in such a complex way that our normal understanding of geometry and volume just doesn't apply. Another important aspect of the banach tarski paradox is that it only works in three or more dimensions. You couldn't split a 2D object like a circle and recreate two identical circles, but in 3D space, the rules change. This is because higher dimensions offer more complexity and freedom to manipulate sets. In higher dimensional spaces, you have more room to move the pieces around, making the paradox possible. This opens up new ways of thinking about space, volume, and even the universe itself while the banach tarski paradox is mathematically possible, it doesn't work in the real world. Why? Because physical objects are made up of atoms, and atoms can't be split or rearranged infinitely. The paradox deals with infinite points, but real-world objects consist of finite, measurable particles. In everyday life, conservation laws prevent us from creating something out of nothing. In the realm of theoretical mathematics, however, such restrictions don't exist. The banach tarski paradox isn't just a fun mathematical curiosity. It raises deep philosophical questions about the nature of reality. How can mathematics, a tool we use to describe the real world, lead to results that seem to violate reality? It's a reminder that the universe, both mathematically and physically, can be stranger than we ever imagined. It also challenges the way we think about infinity, objects, and what it means for something to exist. 
in a world of infinite possibilities. Are paradoxes like this telling us something fundamental about the nature of the universe? While the Banach-Tarski paradox can't happen in real life, the mathematics behind it has led to many useful discoveries. Set theory, geometry, and the axiom of choice are all essential tools in modern mathematics, and they've helped us better understand everything from quantum mechanics to computer science. In fact, abstract mathematical concepts often lead to real-world breakthroughs. So, even though you can't split a physical sphere into two, the abstract ideas behind the paradox have powerful implications for how we understand the world and solve complex problems. Thanks for joining us on Mind Stretch. If this paradox made you rethink what's possible, be sure to like, subscribe, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Can one sphere really become two? We'd love to hear what you think. And as always, we'll see you next time with more mind-expanding explorations.